Hey, what's up, everyone? TK here, TK already is, with my Zone 100 episode 7, uh, Bleed Truck Stop of the Dead, is the title of this episode, also the chapter, but, um, yeah, so it was a continuation of last episode, which I already know, pretty much y'all would already know if y'all saw episode 6, um, this episode went into Jizuka's, uh, Why am I drawing a blank for? Uh, it went into her her early childhood life, like how she was brought up by her father, pretty much. Um, so we got parts of that, like flashbacks of that during the episode. Um, throughout the episode, Akira is pretty much uh, frightful and kind of being brainwashed by his former boss before the whole zombie apocalypse thing happened. And, um... Pretty much, we were just seeing him continue to be scared, frightful, um, and being controlled. And that plays a factor into Jizuka's uh, childhood. Her father was controlling her life. He was like, you just need to listen to me and you're going to have a successful life. Uh, pretty much like uh, telling her you don't need certain things in your life. That's not going to help you be successful in life. Uh, just like a lot of different flashbacks. So he was, she's a good father, pretty much control her life and seeing the cure in his situation with that boss made her think a lot about her past. And at one point during the episode, she saw his bucket list uh, notebook and she wrote in a notebook one thing. And you see that comes into factor later on towards the end of the episode. When uh, she pretty much makes like a speech to Akira because Akira had decided I'm going to stay here because I'm not sure if I cut out like if I can make it with these zombies and stuff. And he's saying like the boss is going to take care of him, yada, 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 all that type of stuff. But uh, when the, the dude, I don't even know his name. I don't try to even remember the, the chief name. But pretty much... He saw he saw the notebook and he was about to stomp on it and Kira pretty much like stopped him. He saw what Jizuka wrote on the notebook, which was, which was tell off my boss, pretty much. And um she did give like a type of speech and everyone around heard the speech and they 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 kinda like gave them hope, inspired them a little bit to like like they're not gonna even they're not gonna be bossed around by this guy either. They're gonna control their own life pretty much but the zombie uh how things how things got pretty much chaotic i would say so for some reason they had a zombie in the cargo truck i don't know why they had zombies a zombie in the cargo truck but once one of the loads was being delivered one of the zombies attacked the guy to open up the uh, truck and then one of the guys in the truck that was driving the truck panicked. He's trying to drive away. He ends up crashing into the zombies that was uh, into the truck that the zombies, because they were using zombies to like carry cargo, like push trucks and stuff. So he crashed into that truck. Those zombies got free. They started attacking people. Everything got chaotic. Um, Kenjo trying to save some people that's there. Um, everyone is pretty much safe. As far as the main cast, but if you are getting eaten, um, the guy that Kira was working for, he was in a bit of a bind, but Kira ends up helping him out. And uh, after all things are settled, when things calm back down, uh, the dude thinking that he's been to uh, still kind of run things around there, and that's when people spoke of it like, I'm not gonna work for you anymore, you don't do anything while we be doing work and other people are like yeah we, we pretty much paid our dues here like we're not gonna work here anymore so those those people that are still around there that didn't get killed they they finna live their own life in the zombie world and see how they do and that's pretty much most of the episode i didn't want to get into all the details of it so I just want to give a quick recap of what happened there but a pretty decent episode uh Nothing that special, spectacular about it. They did play my favorite soundtrack, though. 
I mention it all the time in my reviews. They got this one soundtrack. And they on this episode, they played it when they kind of did like a flashback of a cure bucket list moments. That's my favorite soundtrack so far on this on the show. But uh next one is called Hot Springs and so no, Sushi and Hot Springs. So I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty confident we are meeting Beatrix on this episode. Episode eight, we're gonna meet Beatrix. That is the Russian girl that's a big fan of Japan culture and things of that nature. So looking forward to that. Again, I'm staying away from my manga. I'm not going to look at my manga and uh, try to re reach out my memory. We're just going to watch the episode and see how it plays out. But I think I do remember at least two moments that happens in this part. But I'm not going to say anything. Keeping it up. Anyways, I'm TK. TK already is. Thanks for tuning in. If you haven't, check out my... Uh, well, actually, no mind. You don't got to check it out. Because actually, right after this, I'm about to do my review of the one piece the netflix one piece live action series so if you're interested in that stick around that'll be up shortly after this but uh, yeah i'm tk tk radius thanks for tuning in till next time talk to you later peace